Hey, what's going on? It's Mando Crusader, and, uh, yeah, Wizards of the Coast did a bad, <laughs> they, did, they did a real bad, uh, there's really no other way to start this video, is there? Um, so, yeah, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, you're very lucky, I, have, I envy you. But I'm about to ruin that ignorant bliss right about now. Um, yesterday, Wizards of the Coast put out some new big announcements for Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, it They were hyping this up a lot in the couple of days beforehand. Here I thought it was going to be something cool like Historic Anthology 6 or... Shadows over Innistrad remastered or some, or fixing the client in any way, shape, or form. But, uh, no, instead we get this. Uh, <laughs> which, a thing that nobody wanted, nobody asked for, and, um, it makes the game even more predatory. It, it's ruining, it's gonna ruin Historic. And, um, overall I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling pretty doomer-pilled, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to give my take uh, on the big announcement and, um, also sort of get into how this is going to affect the channel and the content that I make in the future. So, uh, yeah, without, without further ado... Alchemy. So, Wizards of the Coast is introducing a new game mode to Magic the Gathering Arena. This alchemy mode. Um, it's basically Hearthstone. They basically are just recreating the Hearthstone mechanics of digital-only cards and erratas and redoing cards and nerfing them and buffing them and all of that nonsense in arena um in this new mode it's basically just it's gonna be standard except now they're buffing cards they're ner like i said the buffing cards nerfing cards adding new non-paper cards um yeah this is way back when jumpstart historic horizons came out um i was worried about the new digital cards that came with that. I was worried about the precedent that they would set. I was still cautiously optimistic at the time. Uh, boy, how naive I was, right? Um, I kind of argued a bit of a slippery slope. That's usually a, a bit of a logical fallacy, but every now and then the slope actually does turn out to be slippery and... Oh boy, this was this was this was a slippery one. <laughs> this was a very slippery slope. So they're adding in 63 new to digital magic cards. Um it, it's wild. It's actually like wild. Now if we're being completely fair, if this was just this like weird mode that they were creating you know, try to appeal to, like, the Hearthstone demographic or whatever. And just, this is, like, gonna be, like, its own little thing, its own little separate corner of Arena, leaving everything else untouched. Personally, I wouldn't care that much. I'd care a bit more on, like, the, the, the ethical side that I'm going to get into in, like, a minute. I'd care about that a little bit, but as long as I didn't have to engage with it, I wouldn't care. However, that's not where they left. That's not where Wizards of the Coast left this. That's that's not where they left it. Because these cards, they're basically they're ruining, they're take they're dragging historic down with this. So all the cards that they're going to rebalance and errata and buff and nerf, those are the cards that are going to be in historic now. You don't play standard cards in Historic anymore. You play the new buffed, nerfed alchemy cards in Historic. Um, 
And no, you do not receive wild card. If, you're, if your deck gets nerfed into oblivion, like, say that Davriel's Withering Vesperlark combo deck that was in Historic? Anyone remember that? When they nerfed Davriel's Withering? And no one got any compensation, even though that was a meta deck for a while? Um, yeah, that's gonna be the same thing here. It's no compensation, no wild cards, no gold, no gems, you do not pass go, you do not collect $200. Um, just give us more of your money to buy new cards to be competitive with. Maybe some of the buffed ones that, um, uh, that we spiced up the format with. So, yeah, this is a, this is, this is a horrible, horrible business practice. They're infecting Historic with this. Um, so Historic isn't, Historic will no longer be a format that with some challenge, you could recreate it in paper. Historic is literally just a digital, really, truly a digital format now. It's like lost, it's losing its resemblance to paper more and more by the day. And now that affects me because I, I only play Historic, basically. Um, I like the power level. I think it's a lot more fun and varied than Standard. Um... But now, with, with this, Standard is going to be the only mode on Arena that even resembles Paper. That even resembles it. Oh, oh I mean, still is Standard Paper, but... Pa it still is just Light Paper Standard, but... All the other modes in the game are, like, now this digital-only stuff. And... I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um... And I think that the implications of the, the bad business practice here, because it's, it's pretty obvious like to anyone why Wizards is doing this, right? They want you to spend more money. They want you to buy more cards. They want you to burn through your wild cards. Because once the deck that's good gets nerfed and they don't compensate you at all, well, you're going to have to buy new cards in order to stay competitive. And, and, and that's like, that's, that's the whole point. That's why they're doing this. Because eternal formats that sort of stabilize, eventually you can't make a lot of money off of them. Right? Because it's just, it's just, that's kind of just how it works. So, yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of upset because I actually really enjoyed this game. I, I enjoyed Historic. And um, this is actually driving me away from the game. Um, after... This whole fiasco releases on December 9th. Um, I hate when my mouse does that. <laughs> when it all releases on December 9th, I'm no longer going to be playing um, Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm I I'm done with this. Um, unfor again, unfortunately. And that leads me to how does this affect the channel? Because obviously I make Magic the Gathering Arena content. Um, and the sad fact is, is because of, like, this little, like, I don't want to engage with this digital-only nonsense, and I don't want to give Wizards of the Coast playtime, or be tempted to spend any money, or do anything to sort of, like, reward these bad business practices, uh, in so, basically, I'm not gonna be making MTGA content anymore, really, um, I'm still going to make that one Grixis Ninjas deck in Historic. Um, that's going to be my last video. I'm three rare wild cards away from making that. But after after that, there's I'm sadly going to be no more arena content on, on the channel. I'm going to try to maybe make some Magic the Gathering online content like I used to. Um, the problem with that is it's obviously a lot more expensive than Arena to get into online. Um, and I'm on a relatively tight IRL budget, so that will probably be a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a hindrance, a bit of an obstacle, but I'm gonna try, I'm not making any promises, um, but yeah. So I wanted to, I wanted to say that as well, I wanted to give my take on this whole thing um 
I also want to say that because of this, this kind of throws a wrench in my plans of like recording and whatnot. So for I'm I'm just gonna take a couple of days to sort of get a new like recording schedule up and like figure out what I'm gonna be replacing recording MTGA with. I'm also gonna take that time to grind an MTGA so I can get um those last three wild cards to make that video. So yeah, there's gonna be no uploads for a couple of couple of days, not too long, but that's like the, the least of all of this. Um so yeah, I just wanted to make this video, sort of give my take. Uh sorry if I got a little bit ranty. Um, but I'm actually like, really disappointed in this decision. And I really I wanted to I wanted to give like my unfiltered take on it. Because it, it really made me upset. And if if I could be so bold as to make a little bit of a, a possibly a call to action here, um Stop playing Arena. Don't support this, like, pure greed business practice. Don't support that. Make your... And make your voice heard on Reddit. Um, make videos yourself if you're able to. Just just let Wizards know, like, th this this is unacceptable. Th this this should be unacceptable. And, and we shouldn't stand for it. It's, if, if I could get, like... Again, like, if I could get, like, preachy or whatever for a second. But, yeah, let me know what you think um, in the comments below. What's your take on this? Do you share my, 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 I wouldn't call it anger, but upsetness? Do you think this is good? I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear your reasoning for why if you do. Uh, maybe you could sway me. I am a very open-minded person. Um... Also, if you have any suggestions for games that you'd like me to replace Arena with in the upload schedule, be sure to leave those as well. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. I'll see you in a couple of days. And, um, yeah, have a good one.